Hi, first grade families. Here I am, Ms. Roosevelt, in my home, and I too am going to do a read aloud for you. And I picked one of our favorite books from our classroom, Pete the Cat, is one of our favorite read alouds in room 207. And I know my first grade friends in my classroom have spent a lot of time reading this book, and so you know that when we get to certain parts of the story and you can read along with me, please do when you're at home. And I have a little bit of something for you to do at the end of the story. So here's one of our favorite ones, Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Created and illustrated by James Dean. Story by Eric Litwit. The cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. And here he says four. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Up! Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Three! Four minus one equals three. Here he's going three, groovy. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? You got it. Two, three, take away one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons. My two groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One! Two minus one equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. <gasps> Pop! Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. Hmm. How many buttons are left? <gasps> zero! One minus one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? His belly button! And he kept on singing his song. And here he's thinking, it's all good. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? 
goodness, no. We keep on singing. Because buttons come and buttons go. And I love the illustration at the end with all the buttons. So friends, one of the reasons that my class and I love this book so much is that it has a lot of math. And my students know that one of my favorite subjects is math. So friends, if you have time today or sometime during the week, what I'd love for you to do is make your own Pete page with buttons and make your own math equation. There were so many math equations in here. Let's see if I can find one of them. That's one of my favorite ones here. Oh, here we go. Two take away one equals one. So I'm wondering if you can make me your own page of Pete and his buttons, along with a math equation to go with it. How did he lose the buttons? Did he lose them by pop them, them popping off when he was eating ice cream? Maybe he was skateboarding and he lost one. Create your own page and then share it with me. I'm so excited to look for it to look for it. Thanks so much for listening today and I'm hoping to make a few more. Remember this is my first try at it too. I miss you guys and keep reading and keep writing at home. Bye.